Hey everyone. So I think I, I mentioned in my first video, I live in Mansfield, Ohio. Right now we are visiting some very good friends, shout out to Derek and Stacy in Wilmette, Illinois. And one of the, one of the issues in Mansfield is there, I, I really don't have a local card shop. Uh, the closest place is you know, roughly 25, 30 minutes away. So I can get cards at Target, Walmart, uh, occasionally a drugstore. So um, obviously coming out to Chicago, I assumed there would be lots and lots of shops and there are a fair number of shops. And there just happens to be a shop close to where our friends live in Winnetka, Illinois. Uh, it's called Bleacher Sports. So we stopped by there today. And since I started recollecting, I haven't had that local card shop experience that I, that I used to just love back in the 80s. We had a local card shop in the town where I grew up. So, um, you know, we went in, we struck up a conversation with the owner um, and really just had a great time. I mean, it, it was, we had a nice time just talking to this person about their stock. Um, it, his name was Keith, by the way. And let me just uh, give a nice plug to um, Bleacher Sports. There's all the info you need. Um, you know, I was I was looking at packs and some other things, and you know, in the midst of this conversation, my son was there, uh, and our, and our we had a, our friend with us, and you know, all of a sudden he's like, "Look, you guys, you guys seem like uh, nice guys. Let me give you some packs." So he pulls out a couple of packs, eighty six tops, eighty seven tops, and and just gives them to, to each of us. We each got three packs. Um, this is. Um, the Monday following National Baseball Baseball Card Day, but he said, "Hey, I, I didn't give away all my stuff, so you know, I'm going to give you one of the tops packs that were being handed out. I'll give you a Bryce Bryce Harper, and, and we all got a nice uh, Flatty Junior rookie as well, um, with a uh, you know put into a top loader for us. Let me bump the camera there." <clears throat> And so, um, it, you know, it was just, the, you, it's, it's the kind of experience you're not going to have in a Walmart, in a Target, in a drugstore, um, making that connection with another fan of the sport, a fan of the hobby. It was really enjoyable. I mean, I would definitely go back to this place, and I'd recommend it if you're in the Chicago area, certainly in the Wilmette, Winnetka, Evanston, Illinois area. Um I decided to buy two things. I'll, I'll open one of them in this video and I'll save the others uh, for another video. What I'll save are these Topps Chrome. I got four packs of Topps Chrome, which I have not yet bought. These are the 2019 Topps Chrome. So I'll open those in another video. But the other interesting uh, product that he had there, and he had this for basketball, football, definitely baseball, and maybe one other sport, were these uh, Super Jersey packs. My son, who is into basketball, got four of these. They're, they're $10 a pack, and at least in my son's pack, which he's already opened, there were two jersey cards and then a, a random pack of something else that may or may not have autographs or jersey cards. So I picked up one of these for baseball as well. And my son actually got some pretty good hits in his. He got a real nice number, Shaquille O'Neal, um, game-worn jersey. So I'm, I'm hoping there's something cool in there. And uh, I'm going to open that in this video. So I'm going to open everything other than these Chrome packs. I'm going to check out everything um, we picked up in the store. As I said, got this this Harper, this uh, nice Vlad Guerrero Jr. And I don't know, you know, what these are worth, how many of these were passed out. But I, I'm not so much collecting for an investment or to build up a portfolio of cards. I, to me, it's just cool to have a, another Vladdy Jr. rookie card. So those are already sort of uh, in the bank, I guess, for this open. And then I'll open this pack of uh, from Tops for National Baseball Card Day. And what do we got here? We got a, a Reese Hoskins, a 
That's a nice card. He's having a good year. I guess I should do these this way. Alex Gordon, David Peralta, Elvis Andrus, and then Glaber Torres. So it's a nice little pack there. And he didn't he didn't need to give us these. It was not National Baseball Card Day. Um, but again, we had a really nice conversation, and he was like, "Let me let me just um, you know give you give you some handouts," and it was really appreciated. I'm gonna save this for last. So and I. Of these, I'm, I'm most interested in what's what might be in that 87 pack. So we'll open these 86 packs. Um, th this was the year, and this was specifically the set where I became obsessed with collecting baseball cards. I don't know how many of these I opened back in the day. Um, aside from Hall of Famers, I guess what you're looking at, looking for here, uh, maybe a Vince Coleman rookie. Um, there just were, were not a lot of good rookies in this set, and this gum is plastered on, although it didn't really leave a mark when I took it off. Interesting. So, you know, Hall of Famers, I'd love to see a good and a Mattingly, um, Vince Coleman. These seem to be rotated back and forth. Okay, so there, there's a real nice Wade Boggs card, a Hall of Famer, and this was, you know, in 1986, he was one of the ultra superstars, um, you know, hitting whatever it was, 340, 350 every year. Um, you know, in this particular year, he led the league with a, a 368 batting average. So that's a, and that's a beautiful card um, in really great condition. And and you know, this was a free pack that we were just handed. Wow, there's a Pete Rose. Um, the the up down centering, even the left right centering is is off. It's almost diagonal, but nevertheless, Hall of Famer a Pete Rose card comes out of there. Don Scholes, an Indian I don't remember. Brian Fisher, Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Craig Reynolds, Rick Manning. Tippy Martinez, Terry Harper, Gary Ronick, and Dave Razima. So that, you know, Pete Rose and a Wade Boggs and a Jack Morris. That's, that's a fantastic pack of 1986 tops. I... I leave out this second pack will uh, they did have a series of Pete Rose memories in here so I just see in the back that there's one of those um, okay Rafael Ramirez Mark Langston was a high-end picture pitcher back in 86 Danny Darwin Bob Brenly Rick Mahler Leon Durham one of these Pete Rose cards that just has uh, different tops cards throughout the years Craig McMurtry. Sorry, I'm not going to flip these all in the right direction. Vern Rule, Craig Gerber, Jose Desa, Brian Little, Lee Tunnel, Bill Campbell, and Earl Weaver, who is a Hall of Fame manager. I'm in my little Hall of Fame managing collection that I have. Uh, and then you have the 87 tops, which here the best card is the, the Barry Bonds rookie. That's the one you're definitely looking for. And then there's, you know, your standard collection of Hall of Famers and superstars from back in the day. So Mark Portugal, there's a nice Roger Clemens All-Star card. Not a Hall of Famer, but should be. Rick Honeycutt, Terry Francona, who, um, you know, current manager for uh, the Indians, and I, I'm sure will be a Hall of Fame coach one day. There's a nice Cal Ripken card. This is one of the better cards in that set. Tony Fernandez, who um, was was a minor star back in the 80s, I would say. I would, largely forgotten about, maybe outside of um, Toronto. Jim Ganter, Jim Slayton, Rob Deere was uh, an up-and-coming home run hitter back in the day. Never really panned out. Burt Blylevin, there's a Hall of Famer. And Milt Thompson. So, so far of the, um, you know, everything that I've shown so far, I've, I've paid nothing for. And, you know, you end up with a nice Cal Ripken card that's in beautiful condition. That Wade Boggs from 86. Um, again, I would say that's in pretty nice condition. There's some centering issues, but it's a real nice crisp card. So I'll set those aside. And what is left is this pack 
with, um, I'm hoping, two different relic cards in it that I paid $10 for. And obviously, you know, the, 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 the owner could put any cards they want in here. I'm not expecting to get, like, you know, a rare Mike Trout card, but you never know. Let's see. First off, the pack. Let's do the pack first. So there's a pack of 2018 tops. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open this first for a look at the uh, the two. There, there were there were two relic cards in there. I definitely felt two cases. All right, so we got a Miguel, Miguel Cabrera will be a Hall of Famer. Jake Odorazzi, Joe Musgrove, Zach Cranky. We got a Cespedes. A Michael Conforto, J.P. Crawford, Corey Dickerson, Josh Reddick, and Andrew Kashner. All right, so not too much in that pack. Okay, here we go with the relic cards. And I should also add that as I'm somewhat new to the hobby, I, I uh, last collected in, in 8990, I don't have a single relic card in my entire collection. So these will be the first two relic cards I will have ever owned. I'll pull these out one at a time. So the first one is a Carlos Correa uh, Clubhouse Collection. This is a Heritage card. That's a nice one. I like that. Two thousand seventeen tops heritage. Okay, so that that's a nice one. And then the second card is Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer who just uh, left the uh, Indians. Um, probably un under less than ideal circumstances after throwing a baseball from the pitcher's mound into uh, the bleachers uh, as he was having a tantrum after being taken out of a game. All right, so there, there are my first two um, relic cards. That's pretty cool. 2018 Tops Series 2. All right, so I'll, I'll open those Chrome cards in another video, but all in all, really great experience at the card shop. I'd recommend it to anyone. Um, you know, once again, if you're interested, you can go to the website. If you're nearby, stop in and visit. It also has a ton of memorabilia, jerseys, signatures from anyone you can think of. Really nicely, they do framing too, really nicely framed stuff. So, all right, we'll be back soon with those Topps Chrome.